Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new and if you are frequently here, welcome back. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Ever Baby Girl and Centavious McBride for their suggestions on this Shea Bay Powder because you guys know I love, 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 love some Shea Bay Powder because it did wonders for my hair. And so I was struggling with, you know, the light colored powder because of how it looked in my hair and all that stuff. The one that I got directly from um, Miss Sahel, the light colored one, which is what the powder um, looks like now. If you don't have someone who purchased it a lot when it was new, um, older, the original one. So this is the new one. It's lightly colored. And, you know, I was struggling with it because I like it. And this one actually works the same as the traditional one in the beginning, the darker one. It's just the color is light. So, every baby girl suggested adding some clove powder to it because clove is one of the ingredients. And it's dark, so it may darken the powder. And then, Santavius suggested just cooking it because it would darken just like when you roast stuff so i tried both methods and i just wanted to show you guys the results so this is clove powder so it has like a reddish brown tint to it so that's what clove powder by itself looks like and then i just wanted to show you guys the original shea bay powder it's basically blackish like salt and pepper colored um, or dark brown or black okay and then I just showed you the light so then I have them all here on the aluminum foil and this is the original Shea Bay, the dark colored one this is the light colored Shea Bay, just mixed with um, the clove powder so I took a tablespoon this amount of the light colored powder and the same amount of clove powder and just mix them together here on the aluminum foil and this is the color that it came out so and you can compare it to the light powder by itself so it did darken it up a little bit so using just the clove you would probably want to use more clove to the light colored powder than to get it to darken quicker because I use an equal amount of spoonfuls for the powder and the clove so I think using more clove would darken it quicker. But you would definitely need a lot of clove to darken this to get close to that color. Okay. So again, this is the light colored powder all by itself. This is it with clove and that's the original. So then this is the light colored powder with me just cooking it for 10 minutes on 350. So I use this aluminum foil sheet. And just spread the light color powder all over it. Um, I had to do it a few times um, to get half of my bag, you know, darkened. But this is what it came out with. And I have a gas stove. So I put it on 350 for about 10 minutes. And this is how it turned out. And let me tell you guys, it smells so good when it's like roasting in the oven. And basically how I timed it was I put it in the oven. And once I started to smell the aroma off of it. I would take it out and this is the color it would be so it did darken it quite a bit <clears throat> and then this is the light color powder after I roasted it and then I added clove um, powder so let me see if I can get out my shadow so adding clove powder darken it a tad bit but it's still about the same as just roasting it and roasting it was honestly a lot quicker because you can spread a whole lot on this aluminum foil stick it in there once it starts smelling good take it out so after I darkened it I put it back in there because I wanted it to be a little bit darker and then it got to the color of the original and so I put it back in on 400 and let it go for another 10 minutes and this is how it turned out and then this is the light compared to after I roasted it twice and as you can see, it's very, very close to the original. So I'm definitely happy that you guys suggested these options to me because it will definitely make my Shea Bay experience a lot better. Because, and this is it just once I, I got it out of the oven. This doesn't have clove powder in it. 
So yeah, I did a whole bunch because I like the results. And it's not as um, light as it was. So I think definitely putting it back in the oven for a little bit longer will maybe darken it some more. And like I said, I only did it for 10 minutes on 350. Literally just sticking the aluminum it on some aluminum foil, sticking it in the oven, and then taking it back out. I just wanted to let you guys know to be careful when you put the shea in the oven. Don't forget that it's in the oven because it will continue to cook and eventually burn. And so I put mine outside once it started to smoke up too bad. And it basically continued to cook and caught fire. And this is the result. So just be careful and monitor it when you do put it in the oven. Um, so you don't waste any shea or like smoke up your house like I did. And this is just showing you the result of the original powder compared to the light and then after I've finished cooking it twice. So I hope this video was helpful if you are wanting to try Shea Bay but you don't want the light powder. There is a way to darken it. Um, thanks to Every Baby Girl and Santavius and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to join the Shea Bay Challenge Facebook group. You do not have to use the butter that I suggest or the Shea Bay powder that I suggest. You can use any Shea Bay product. Um, we do want to see your results and we want you to get involved in our community on Facebook. So I'll leave that link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next time.